I spent the past year posting a reel to Instagram every single day. Many successful personalities on these platforms give advice that posting consistently and often is the key to social media growth. So to put those claims to the test, I posted every day for 365 days straight. I'm a landscape photographer who's been on the road full time for nearly three years, living and breathing content creation. Finding ways to grow an audience is important to my livelihood and the growing requirement for short form videos over photos across social media platforms made posting consistently very challenging as a photographer. So in this video, I'm gonna overview my strategy of how I was able to make a reel every day, break down all my metrics of just how many followers I gained, and most importantly, reveal my secret of finding success as an artist on social media. I started this with some inspiration from a friend of mine, shout out to Johnny, who posted a photo reel every day of October of 2022. He found decent success. And it was the perfect blend of photography that still fed Instagram's incessant algorithmic requirements for posting reels over photos. The format was simple. Select a photo from my catalog that fits a nine by 16 aspect ratio, put a typewriter style text on it, animate it with the project name, location, and number in the series, and then boom, I've turned a photo into a reel. This simple formula was crucial for saving time because the truth is I personally hate worrying about social media. It doesn't necessarily bring me joy or satisfaction and I'd rather be focusing my efforts into videos like this one, yet I know that not playing the game is just hurting my business and bottom line. Thus, posting every day for a year was gonna be a big challenge for me and the only way that I was gonna be able to stick with it was knowing that I could save time by batch processing many of my reels. So, we've got the formula. Now it was time to actually make the reels. At first, this was gonna be selecting random images from my catalog, but eventually I found the trick to make it a lot easier was to create themes. Things like mountains, trees, oceans, or you could do places like Alaska, Europe, or California. This also allowed me to reuse images multiple times as long as there was enough time in between posting them. I'd come up with a theme, go through my photo catalogs over the past couple years, pick out the ones that fit the theme, then put them all into Premiere, insert them into the formula, export, and airdrop them to my phone. That means I made 30 to 60 reels in a day. Then every day I would go to post, select what I consider some peaceful audio, and I'd hit post. Rinse and repeat for 364 more days. The process took time, but we were able to solve how to make it time manageable. Now the question is, was it effective in growing my business? The stats on Instagram only go back about 90 days, while on Meta's business site, we have more data to work with, such as things like reach, saves, and shares for the entire year of the project but I cannot see my follower stats before May. Thus, from May 28th to October 20th, I gained roughly 775 followers. My growth was pretty consistent over the year, so if I'm generous, I can extrapolate that I gained roughly 1,800 followers posting a reel every day for a year. Now, maybe for you that number seems decent, that is a few followers a day, but for me, that return from a business perspective is pretty bad. And you have to remember that this isn't even factoring in things like organic follows that I might get from YouTube or websites that I write for or a myriad of other outside factors during that period. I never expected these photo reels to blow up. Most of them average about a thousand views with some being above average in the two to 3000 view range. One thing that I loved about them though was that they were just photos from a photographer. Sure, I had to wrap them in a slightly animated package, but at the core of it, they were just my photography. I also never spent a bunch of time on the music or searching for something that was trending. I just found some soft and mellow music that was suggested by Instagram, and that not only saved me a lot of time, but it also meant that I gotta focus more on important things in my daily life. Maybe not picking trending audio doomed some of these, but I doubt it. But knowing all of this, was this just a waste of time and effort? And the answer is definitely no, but not because of what you might think. Posting a reel every day for a year was not a waste of time. Like I said in the beginning, this was more of a challenge to myself than it was hoping for some huge results. I've always personally struggled with social media, something that I vocalize quite a bit on this channel. I redefined success for myself for this project to be posting every day without missing a single day, regardless of how many people chose to follow me. All I had to do to be successful was post every single day. And it's taken me years to disconnect my self-worth to the like count associated with the post. And if you take anything away from this video, it should be knowing that your photography, art, or creations, whatever it may be, have no correlation to how much reach you have on social media. Also, did you realize that I just told you the secret to success as an artist on social media? Did you catch it? Let me explain. A few weeks ago, I made an eight second reel from a video clip that was visually engaging. I added some trending audio to it. And then within a few days, I got roughly 180,000 views, netting me over 500 followers. Comparing those numbers to the results I told you earlier, maybe your first thought is that posting frequently isn't as important as everyone says. 
Or maybe you do what I do and I slip into the thought that my work just isn't good enough. I spent a year posting hundreds of what I would deem decent photography that took me thousands of hours to find, capture, and edit. So based on my results, does that mean my photography is garbage and unlikable? No, absolutely not. It probably just means that photos and reels aren't what people want to see. And this is a reminder to all creators out there that no matter how early you wake up for sunrise or how much money you spent on your camera or how long you've been making art or struggled in the pursuit of something you love, none of that matters to the algorithm. All that matters is playing the game optimally with what you've created. Think about it like this. Pretend you're playing a game of chess. You know the rules of the game. You're actually really good at the game, but you decide you want to do something different, trying to win by only moving your pieces forward. This is not really an optimal strategy, but it's a strategy that means you don't have to spend all your time thinking about your moves. While this is totally allowed in the game, you can't do it expecting to win and then blame the game when you lose. The algorithm is the game. I knew the rules and I decided to play the game suboptimally because it was the only way that I knew that I could stick with posting a reel every day for a year without burning out. Sure, sometimes this game's rules change and that can be incredibly frustrating. For the most part though, you know how to play. This is why we have to disconnect our self-worth as an artist from the game. It's just business. And if you're like me, you might even choose not to play the game most of the time. The balance is completely up to you. Look, I know you probably clicked on this video to see how much you can grow by posting every day, but I hope you walk away realizing that something far more relevant. You're important, your art is important, and your like count doesn't correlate to the quality of your work. Sometimes we just got to decide if we want to play the game or not. Maybe a happy medium is to focus energy into playing optimally rather than doing what makes us happy all the time. But if you enjoyed this video, maybe you'll enjoy this one, where I wake up six days in a row to capture some images that will never do well on the algorithm. There's even a rainbow or two in there. See you on the next one. Later.